hey guys welcome back to my channel here i'm gonna teach you how to do a quick intro for your youtube channel under 15 minutes with just using your iphone and you're gonna use a couple of apps so the first step you want to do is you're gonna download pink monkey and then you're going to click the blank canvas and that's where you're gonna choose your background color you want to make sure whatever color that you choose is going to pop whenever someone clicks on your video to see your bomb intro. Then step two, you want to scroll down to pick the correct size. And obviously since it's YouTube, you want to scroll all the way to the right until you see the YouTube thumbnail option. What's great about this app, you can use PicMonkey to make a banner for any social media. You have your Facebook, your Pinterest, you have your YouTube channel, you have one for Snapchat. There's so many different options that PicMonkey is a great app for all things edit, doing layovers and all those fun things. Now for step three, you want to insert your channel name and a few cute pics so you can add on to your background. So right here, I'm just creating like a fake, you know, Instagram name. And now I don't know why I chose Batty the Brat, but that's what I chose. You want to make it the size that you want. You want to pick your font and the placement on where you want it to be on your background and here I'm just playing with the font to see which one fits the best and which one looks the best so here you can just play around with the colors as well and the size to make sure you like where you like the placement of your channel name and then once you figure that out this is when you want to start to insert your pics. So make sure you um, make a separate album for the pictures that you want to use for your intro. And you want to put the first picture and then click save. Every picture that you put, you want to click save. So now you're going to pick the second picture back to the same album pick your second picture that you like you center it where you need to center it and then you're gonna click save again after you figure out what's the placement that you want to put it in click save like I said and then you want to do another picture if you want to add three I added three for this one to make it simple but here I'm going to show you how to um, erase your background so you want to download the app eraser and then you want to go back to your album you want to pick the picture that you want to erase the background make sure you have a solid background and because it's going to make it a lot easier when you are erasing so you want to hit the tab target and you are just gonna click on the screen and it's pretty much going to erase the background and you can um, alter the size of the eraser you can make it big you can make it small and here you see I am literally erasing the whole background to make sure the only thing that is left over is a picture of me you know the best part sure you are erasing the, the background you want it to make sure it is crisp but obviously it's not gonna be all the way perfect but you know just play with the size of the eraser and just continue to just erase 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 until the only thing that's standing is a picture of you. Just make sure to be very careful when you're going around your body and your face. Now you just wanna click save and it's going to save into your album. And then obviously I missed a couple of spots, but you know, it's fine. Just make sure you take your time. You wanna go back into your pink monkey and you just want to find that photo that you just erased the background to and you just want to insert it. So that's going to be your final step for your intro photo collage. 
and then once you like the placement of that you want to save that and then you want to go and download the app called glitchy now this is where the effect is going to happen and this is why you need to save each photo individually so you're gonna choose the first photo that you saved to pick monkey and then you going to just hit the check mark and then it's going to give you options on what you want to use and you can you can play with the glitches you can play with the beats and see which one and once you pick which one you want you are going to save it as a video and then you're just going to continue to do it for each photo that you save so right now i'm just saving the first photo and then going back into my photo album and now i'm going to click on the second photo that you saved during pick monkey and then doing the same thing picking um, a glitch that you want to use for the second photo and you can just play around with it like I said and then you want to save it as a video make sure you are saving it okay it's very important and you just want to save 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 and then you're going to do this for the final photo and you want to go back into your photo album and then you're going to choose your last picture and then you're going to you know play with the glitches the beat i was just going through just to see which one i wanted to choose and um so it's pretty self-explanatory you know this is like literally the easiest way that you can make a intro under 15 minutes it's super easy and if you want to also add music i will show you how to do that so now that you have all three of your photos saved because you want to make sure you want to click save in a video format the next step that we're going to do is we are going to download the app called iMovie. This is where you're going to um, put all of your videos into a movie format. So you want to click the movie option. Then you want to click on all three of the photos where you put the glitch edit onto. So here I'm just trying to remember the order that I did it in. So just click all three of them and then you're going to insert it and then it's going to create a video for you. And then, you know, this takes like a little minute. You know, my phone is a little slow. Bear with me. But we're going to get it together and see now they're all together. So now this is the fun part where you see your creation literally come alive. So this is where you want to play with the time and you want to adjust each clip. So it's not just on that clip for like 50 years. You just want to trim each clip. I like to make an intro video like under, I guess, like 11 seconds. You know, this is just for beginners. As you, you know, grow with your YouTube career, you can, you know, play with the iMovie app. You can add more pictures, you can do overlays and iMovie. You can also add mu music to it and overlays, but for this video, I'm just going to show you how to do just the bare minimum, the most basic intro. See, now you see, now you put it all together. You had your first glitch, your second glitch, and your final glitch, and you just want to make sure that each um, segment of your photos, you know, is not too long, it's not too short, you can play with it, you know. You can do all that to just make sure that um, you get the right photo. And right now, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but before I had like the glitchy sign at the corner. This is where if you don't want that logo, you just click on each photo segment and you want to just hit the crop option. 
and you just want to pretty much adjust it so that the glitchy logo does not show <laughs> and if you want to pay to remove the logo you can I think it's $1.99 but you know you could just do it through iMovie for free 99 and you see now it's seamless you don't have to worry about it at all you don't see the logo at all just your beautiful pictures of yourself and voila you have a nice intro now just going back through it and here's the final result looking like a baddie yes you see wasn't that easy? That was super easy. Let me know if this was helpful at all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.